So, uh, Mans Iglesia, Mans, nice, nice to meet you, Mans, hopefully I'm not butchering your name too much, said that you use wall reveals to mimic stucco breaks, but the problem is the, reveal, the reveals um, appear as cut lines and are very wide. I'm assuming you're talking about in elevation views, um, where it is when they're looking pretty crummy. Um, so let's just see <clears throat> if we can recreate this for you. Okay, so if I was to um, draw a generic eight inch wall here, <clears throat> and I don't even know where, the, where I am in this wall, there it is. And then I was to do a wall reveal, and I let's say did vertical for example, and then maybe I just copy this a few spaces. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see there's my reveals. If I go in 3D, this file, this file is getting a little uh, a little much here. All right. Uh, I have to turn my wall transparency off. Clear overrides. Okay. Apply. Okay. All right, so you can see there's my reveals. I guess these are a little bigger than probably the ones that you'll be making. <laughs> so if you want, I will I will make them a little thinner. So I'm just going to go down to families, um, profiles, rectangular, where am I? Reveal brick course. Uh, yeah, let's just use this one for now. So I'm going to take the one brick one and I'm going to duplicate it and call it small reveal and inset into wall is going to be, I don't know, a half inch and then the brick, let's just do half inch, half inch, half inch, sure, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to flip these to the brick one that I just made, which is called small. Okay. <clears throat> so now, unfortunately, right, these are edges now of walls. So here you can see they're looking a little thick. Um, and then if I go to my floor plan, where am I? You can see there they're looking a little thick. And unfortunately, there's not really much more that you can do about that, um, mainly because they're just cut in the walls, right? Um, so I guess in theory, if you tried uh, tweaking some line weights, you can mess with it. But um, but the reality is, there's not really much more you can do with that because it's it is what it is. You're cutting the wall and you're seeing them. Um, if you wanted to, in your elevation view, for example, let me go back to elevation view. Yeah, you, know, you could see there. Um, you know, you could use the line weight tool, so L W on your keyboard. Um, then you could use thin lines, and you could select. You know, and, and use use thin lines on these is one way. Um, I don't think hiding hiding the reveal will do anything, um, but you can see line weights kind of does it there. Otherwise, there's not really much more you can do. Um, the opposite is you could make your line weights of your walls in that view thin, and then click the edges and make them thick. Um, if that makes sense. So hopefully that was a little helpful. That's kind of a, a tough one, um, but you can see even here, even at eighth inch, if I go to quarter inch. Oops, not eight. You can see the difference between this one and this one using the line weight tool. Unfortunately, the only way to do that is to manually click, click the edges, um, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt. 